Good morning, my friends. Happy Feral Monday. I'm on here early because it was mama's birthday and we're gonna go on a little road trip and take her somewhere where she wanted to go. And I'm really, 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 really excited. We're all excited. So I'm gonna do this a little earlier. But listen, I wanna do something with this shade right here. Is that not stunning? And I wanna show you that cranberry, this type of color right here is not that scary. So the first thing that we're gonna do Anytime you want to wear a color outside of your comfort zone, start with a warm base. Start with a warm crease. Get that crease nice and toasted. I'm going to start with my About Face Liquid Shadow and Capulets. I'm still going to add some more warmth, but let's just make sure that we got a really warm base going. And I love the dry time on these because they don't dry too quickly. I'm going to grab a fluffier brush. This is the E29. And I'm gonna tap that to transition it. I'm using the center of the brush to tap it. Now don't worry about the lid because that's where the color is gonna go, but we gotta get our warmth going. Nice. And see that this one didn't dry too quickly. It's one of the reasons I really love working with these, but they will set by themselves and you don't need to set them. By the way, really quickly, um, I'm sure most of you know that last week we launched the C43 and it sold out. We did not expect that. Thank you again. Um, that being said, we're now offering the Essential Travel Set. It's usually $135. We're offering it for $100. And it has a brush. You can see the brush. It's very, very similar. The fibers are different. This is our artistry fiber. But it's still, you can go from cream to powder. It's beautiful. It's a 10 out of 10, obviously. Um, but I just wanted to let you all know that in case you did miss this and you're like, oh, bummer. But we wanted to offer this to you because we love you so this is the original very first palette that mario came out with that being said this is a new version of it so i have the original that was sent to me when his brand first launched but i feel that this new one that came in pr last week with the new palette i feel that the um the texture everything about it is different so i'm going to take this shade i'm going to i'm going to warm this up i feel like maybe it's had a little bit of an upgrade because i know that formulas change year to year so when the first one was launched um i assume that that would be you know kind of an outdated formula now that's how quickly makeup science advances in this makeup world isn't that interesting it's one of the things that really fascinate me so i'm taking the same e29 and i'm just pushing that into the socket it's still going to be a very diffused look i'm not doing the cut crease but we do want a little bit of precision through here. And by precision, I mean, I want to use the tip of the brush because you are gonna get just a little bit more precision and it's just going to fit in here instead of just doing circular motions and completely buffing. So I still want a little bit more of the depth, you can see it right there, to just have a little bit of control to it. Now, I'm gonna take this shade, I think. Let's see what happens. Actually, you know what, let's take this shade. I'm gonna take that and just diffuse the top part and warm this up a little bit more. Still using the tip of the brush. Yep, that's what I was after. So now I'm going to mix these two shades because they have quite a bit of red in them. Let me show you. So here's our cranberry shade. And I know you're thinking, Rose, no, I don't get it. But if you stare at it long enough, you will start to see the red in the browns. And that's what we're kind of matching. And it's also gonna keep that warmth going. I'm just gonna push that into my socket, still using the E29. I know I don't need a lot of structure, so I didn't even need to grab the E28, but I'm still able to get a little bit. See how nice that looks? Easy peasy. And also when you're doing, this is a really good tip. When you're doing a, a color that you're really not used to, don't add, do whatever you want. But if you're scared of it, try to not add as much depth over this way. Do you see how I'm keeping the depth focused mainly on this outer part of my eye? Once I start to bring it over here, it's a real commitment. It's a really deep, sultry, look at me look. So by keeping it out this way, I'm, I'm gonna have something for the cranberry to transition into, but I'm not fully committing to a full glam, just absolute, party on my eyeball look. So I'm just gonna continue to focus that out here. And then with whatever's left on the brush, just lightly wipe it. I'm going to just sweep it over this way a little bit. 
not too dark. Okay, so we want our shimmer to pop. No matter what, we gotta get that shimmer just absolutely feral. We have to, plus it's Feral Monday. So I'm gonna take my clear base. I'm just gonna roll some on the back of my hand here. This is really gonna enhance the shimmer. And then I'm gonna grab a C30, and I'm gonna grab half of the base that was on my hand. So I'm gonna do half for each eye. We're gonna smooth this out across our lid. We're gonna do the same thing over here. And by over here, I mean over there. Now, I'm not gonna use this color today, but look, it's exactly what I was looking for. This is very much MAC Blue Brown. I'm gonna tag the palette now that we're using it. I'm so excited to do a look with that. Just so excited. This one is from Get Stoned. So um, Meg, she was doing rhinestones, but now she has this palette. And I already know it's just gonna be absolutely incredible. And I'm so excited to share it with you. And if you're wanting an all sparkle palette, I would highly recommend supporting her. So we're gonna grab this on our C30. Make sure we really load up the brush. I'm so excited. So now we're just gonna take this. And we're gonna put that all over our lid. Do you see? I know some of you are still thinking absolutely not. But once we melt it into the red browns that are on our lid, it's gonna be so much more wearable than just throwing on the cranberry. Well, I would do that, but I wanna kinda of help y'all branch out sometimes. Oh, that's so pretty. And also another tip is to not let this cranberry creep up too high into the socket. That way when we relax, you're still seeing these more neutrals, these browns, um, something we're used to seeing. It's really about getting used to seeing yourself in different colors. Jean, please. And once you get used to it, then you're unstoppable and you're like, oh, blue on a Tuesday. So I got another tip to make this less scary to some. So we're gonna take this color, grab it on the side of the brush, so it's just on one side, and we're going to tap it over here. And by kind of and this will be cleaned up, don't even worry about that. But by adding the depth here on the outer part, it kind of calms the cranberry in a sense because anytime we get the redness around here, that's when it starts to look um, like what eyes can do when we're sneezing, when we don't feel as good. So if we kind of cut this off and add the depth there, and then we're gonna clean that up, I will show you. If we do that, then it's just not scary in any way and it's just a beautiful shade. Just add that depth. See the difference? Let's get it cleaned up so you can actually see the difference. Now we're gonna need my cellar water. This one's from Bioderma and the cap came that way. Y'all always ask me, it just came this way. We're gonna pick up the micellar water, even that out on the brush. I'm gonna clean up in here. And the reason I use a fluffy brush is so I don't take away too much. And then we still gotta put on our foundation and we'll clean up a little bit more with that. And then I'm gonna wipe it off a little bit. And I'm using such a small amount of micellar water, it's not going to mess with my skincare, it's just a tiny, tiny amount. My skin feels perfectly hydrated. See all that we just got away, wipe that off. Then I'll tap up here. By now there's hardly any, so we're not gonna take away too much. Now with cranberry, I highly recommend a very warm, rich brown. I believe this is called rich brown, isn't it? Yeah. This one's from Melt Cosmetics, and I'm just going to go ahead and bring that towards the front over here. And then I'll just connect it in the center. That's also a really good tip if you have sensitive eyes because um, most of us can do it here. And I'm not going, even coming from underneath is more comfortable. And then over here, I know most of us can definitely do it, but where we get it, where we get the most backlash from our eye is going across. And not every one of us, not all of us can shut one eye at a time like I can. So by doing what I just did, and then taking an angle brush and pulling it this way, and then pulling it over this way, it's a lot easier. And look at the difference that makes. And look at how red 
and just warm and fun my eyes are pulling. Are you ready for the trip? Are you, not you, Jean. Jean's going, so is Doug. Are you ready? Man, I'm getting there. Okay, I'm so excited. Just wrap it up. Just wrap it, it up. Wrap it up, literally, let's go. Honestly, my eyes, they look so enhanced. I love it. It's one of the reasons I like wearing cranberries or a shade like this, this more goldy amber. It's really, really, really gonna enhance eye color. Really all eye colors. I feel like cranberry and then amber, um, copper, they both enhance all eye colors. Now I'm waiting for my lashes to get a little bit tacky, but I do want you to know I am gonna do a little bit of draping, but I'm gonna do it at the very end. And I'm also gonna continue to give you tips on how to get you through a color like this because it still looks scary. We're going to do our moonlight lashes. I'm going to pop these on. Notice that I'm grabbing them from the center. And I also have an entire lash tutorial on my saved highlights. So I'm really into this corrector. And the reason we're going to use corrector today is this color. This can be a, a color that makes our skin look not so good at this stage. It's going to be fantastic once we do a few little workarounds. So I'm gonna do this corrector, and I'm using the one that's more thin. Um, this is my, I think, no makeup makeup one. But the reason I'm using this one is because we don't need that much. We just need a little, little bit. And where did my brush go? I'll just buff this in with a fluffy brush. No, I won't, because it has ran away. Mm -mm. Oh, here's one. I'll just buff this in with my inner brush brush as well. But you can already see that difference. It's little tricks like this that I wish I would have known because I would have branched out with my makeup a lot sooner. I didn't understand. <laughs> because I wanted to wear fun colors, but I'd put them on and I'd wipe them off immediately. Also, just wanna talk about this for just a second because I've fallen in love with it. If you're someone that's new to correctors, okay, this is gonna be an amazing corrector to start with, to understand, to work with. Um, and if you're someone that does very quick, no makeup makeup, just everyday looks you're also going to love this this one is pretty exceptional me and this foundation we're having a good time there is one for combination oily skin but this one if you're balanced to dry and even combination this one this one likes powder you could just do a little extra powder or your your um just do your skin prep for your combination skin and it's going to work out nicely but i've been loving it in fact the greater audacity I was gonna say I prefer this one over the About Face. And then I also prefer this one. I feel like this one is even less, mm, I don't wanna use the word greasy. That's not the right word. I feel this one's even more weightless, even more weightless than the Laura Mercier. So out of all the more hydrating versions of what I've seen come out recently, this is the one I'm reaching for the most but make sure that you shake it really nicely. I'm gonna do three pumps of it. And I'm gonna let you watch it melt. And then I wear 1R, 1, 2. It, mm, 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 mm. No, Lord have mercy, the long crew is just trying to just sabotage me this morning. Douglas MacArthur. So we're gonna take our C42, melt this in. This honestly feels like I am putting on the lightest gel moisturizer in my in my entire skincare collection. And it smells like skincare too, but very faint. Very, 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 very faint. Look, the match is so perfect, I really don't even have to take it down my neck. I love that about Makeup Forever. I wear 1R12 in everything. And yes, this is the makeup I will be wearing on my road trip today. <laughs> I'm gonna link the brush here because the brush is brushing. And if you've ever... <laughs> this is a whole new level of sabotage. I don't mind it. It makes me laugh so hard. I was saying, if you've ever had streaks with your foundation, now obviously we have patented fibers. It's, the brushes are a big party. But that being said, I wanna help you with what you might already have. 
what can happen and listen this is why it really doesn't happen too much with a blender with a sponge it's because the sponge is going to absorb okay and it takes it away so it's taking away excess and if you're getting streaks with the brush it's because you have on too much too quick i know we need coverage you see me jump i'm jumping so what happens is when you have that much on your face and you're trying to blend it with a brush um, you're going to have streaks, absolutely. But if you build up, like I always do, you notice that I always build up my foundation. If I want more coverage, I build it. But going all at once, taking that foundation, putting it all on, it's just because the brush isn't gonna absorb, especially this one, and we don't want a brush to absorb. We don't really want a sponge to absorb, but if you've ever felt that you're getting more of what you're looking for with the sponge, but then the sponge can separate, absorb, waste product, but if you just build, building is always better. It's always better. I got a fresh Kosas concealer. I used that entire tube. And if you're thinking that went really quickly, wow, is, am I gonna use it that quickly? You, you probably, you, you might, but you probably don't do three looks a day. No one should. <laughs> I love what I do. But if you've ever seen me stay away from Kosas. It's because it ran very, very warm, but they introduced cooler tones back in January. And now this has been one of my favorites. And I can get a little bit more of a glam coverage out of this one. This one can do a lighter coverage, but I can also get a more glam coverage out of it. Now I'm gonna have to blend my concealer off camera because the brush I'm using is a prototype. Now I'm gonna set with my Nakia Joy powder but what I'm I'm gonna stop there the reason why is because I'm gonna drape there in just a second and if I set there um, I won't get the same impact and also when you set certain areas it can change the texture of what you apply on top so the blush I'm gonna use a Valentino one and it has a very unique texture and powder underneath it can change it. So always keep that in mind. If you want your textures to show up very, very true, then don't set that area because we can change textures. I feel like that's something we don't touch on a lot. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of the clear base, the smallest amount. I'm gonna grab it on an E27 because that's what I'm gonna use underneath here just a tiny little whisper of it. Same milk base, I'm gonna wipe my brush off and then I'm going to go into this shade and this shade again. I, I don't even know at this point. And then we're gonna go underneath there. Now me and this shine control powder, this is the one from Makeup Forever, I'm gonna get you the link, please. Summer is coming. And I'm gonna apply it with a fluffy brush because I don't wanna just pack on a whole lot, but I do want to get my shine control going here. Um, the puff would make it more um, intense, not in a bad way, just depends on if you're, in fact, if you're oily, I would recommend applying it with a puff, but I don't wanna take down too much of the glow with the foundation. So remember the fluffier the brush, the more diffuse the application. Oh, mom's talking too one of her friends on the phone. I just think my mom is so cute. So if you have very dry skin, I would recommend, I always recommend setting the under eye with a puff. And the reason why is because you wanna get in there. That's a very expressive area. So if you have a very expressive area, say um, you have smile lines, the forehead, a puff, cause you just wanna get in there. But if you have balance to dry skin, setting the rest of the face with a puff is a really good idea because we're still setting, but we're not, packing. I'm going to grab a little bit of this color. It's called champagne. Grab that on an E27 and I am going to do an inner corner highlight. Wow. I'm going to take this palette with me and I'll still be doing tutorials. I might miss one day. We'll see. Um, but I'm, I'm taking a light and I plan on doing tutorials, but sometimes mama is like, will you just come sit with me? And it is her birthday. So I'll, I'm going to keep y'all updated. I'm going to use my Kiko Milano powder bronzer. This is 101 and a C40. This is a very pigmented, very pigmented bronzer. I absolutely love it. But if you do get it, y'all, I am going, boo. Actually, I didn't grab it perfectly, okay? Just, there you go. Just make complete contact, but very light contact, and you 
will have some bronzer. Also, bronzer really helps with these types of looks that are a little bit more not a color we're used to. And then also another really good tip is to take a tiny amount of that bronzer and add it through here. It will absolutely make everything so melty and so much less scary. This is still one of my favorite blushes in the whole wide world. And put one of these in your cart if you want to. But put them in your cart for the Sephora savings event that's coming up in April. So I'm gonna do two taps of that. And remember, I didn't set over here. And I just wanna ever so lightly connect. But what I don't want it to do is I don't wanna get it here because look right there, that's where we would naturally be red. We wanna put the red and the cranberry in places that we normally wouldn't be red so it looks um, more deliberate, less sneezy allergy. So I'm gonna place it there and this might still look sneezy allergy to you but we're just having fun, it's Feral Monday. And when you put a little bit of blush here, I can even blend it out, don't be afraid, don't be frightened. And then I'm going to put a little bit here. And I feel like we always forget blush doesn't have to connect. And then I can take my foundation brush. Nice little tap over. And then I'm going to add a little bit. I was saying I'm going to add just a little bit more here. We don't even have to connect it. I love this blush. This formula is unlike anything. So fun. Burgundy mascara on the bottom lashes. Really tie all of this in. I'm taking this with me, by the way. The burgundy mascara. I've really been into it, and I feel like it's really gonna enhance my eyes even further. Yeah. So that leaf blower is actually Ben. He's cleaning off a cooler um, so we can go on a little road trip. I gotta have my little juicy with me. I drink this one little pineapple and this other little green juice. I love them. He's so sweet for to do that. But is he sweet? Because there's yet another ruckus. Burgundy mascara on the bottom lashes. Really tie all of this in. I'm taking this with me, by the way. The burgundy mascara. I've really been into it. And I feel like it's really gonna enhance my eyes even further. So that leaf blower is actually Ben. He's cleaning off a cooler um, so we can go on a little road trip. Because I gotta have my little juicy with me. I drink this one little pineapple and this other little green juice. I love them. He's so sweet for to do that. But is he sweet? Because there's yet another ruckus. So before I put on my lipstick, let's just go back through what makes this less scary. We definitely. I feel that for where I'm at, cranberry on my waterline, absolutely. But that would be a little, um, it could be scary if you don't wear these color all the time. But to make this less scary, we obviously didn't need to do the draping. That, that goes back into Feral Monday territory. But the key is to make sure that the cranberry just doesn't go in places that we naturally get a lot of redness. So we wanna contain the redness here. We wouldn't want any of that redness to creep over this way too far. I'm gonna use the City Color Lip Liner and Aesthetic. These are such good lip liners for the price. They're so creamy, they're so good. So good. I'm, I can't recommend them enough. Then I'm gonna do this Kiko Milano lipstick. These are super creamy. So these will come off, this isn't a transfer proof. But these are so creamy and so pigmented. Oh, I love the color with the eye. All right, we are done. I love this foundation so much. It looks so creamy and it actually looks dewy. It doesn't look shiny. It doesn't look oily. That is dew. It just looks like dew. There's a difference. I know the difference and I'll tell you why I know the difference because I live in a, in a humid, humid climate. Me and my hair stay fighting. Like I said, I've got all my makeup packed up here. Um, I'm, I'm ready to go. We're going to be doing tutorials. Like I said, I might miss one day, uh, but I'm going to keep y'all updated. It's just about what mama wants because this it's her birthday week. She's the birthday girl and the birthday girl gets what she wants. And I hope that the birthday girl wants cake. 
<laughs> All right, I love y'all so much. We gotta leave in an hour. Um, I'll, I'll keep y'all updated. We're gonna have fun. And then maybe I'll show you pictures of Jean and Doug and what they're up to, because you know they're gonna be up to something. Okay, in case nobody's told you today, I love you so much.